Insects and hummingbirds' capability of hovering flight is a unique case of convergent evolution. They utilize similar high-frequency wing motion and high angles of attack to generate vertical thrust. By changing their wing kinematics, the direction of flight forces can be altered for maneuvering. Hummingbirds' complex neural system and many control and steering muscles give them a significant locomotive advantage over insects. Inspired by the hummingbird's remarkable flight and maneuvering capabilities, we developed an at-scale flapping wing robot, aiming to bridge the performance gap between man-made systems and their natural counterparts. The robot is actuated by two independently controlled motors that drive the wings to achieve six degree of freedom flight control. The robotic hummingbird is similar in size to a magnificent hummingbird with a wingspan of 170 millimeters, a weight of 12 grams, and similar wing morphology. To optimize the vehicle design and aid in controller tuning, a simulation tool was built and validated through both open and closed loop tests. This tool allowed us to optimize the vehicle morphology, tune controller gains, and develop more sophisticated control algorithm. A nonlinear controller was developed for flight control. The robot can perform robust transient and steady state trajectory tracking. In addition to basic movements, the robot was able to accurately follow arbitrarily complex paths. The robot can generate significantly more lift than it needs to support itself. We tested its ability to maintain control while carrying a payload using an unpowered flapping wing robot of the same size. The payload weighed about seven and a half grams. Carrying over half of its own weight, the robot was still able to take off quickly. This test also demonstrated that it had sufficient control torque to maintain stability. We also assessed whether the robot can maintain stable flight with damaged wings. Even with a significant portion of the wing missing, the robot was able to control itself. A special wing was used to test dynamic wing area loss. This wing's tip will tear mid-flight due to stress. When the cyclic aerodynamic loading stressed the adhesive, the tip of the wing broke off. The robot adapted quickly and flight stability was not affected. The robot has motor current feedback to monitor the instantaneous wing loading, which can be used to sense the surroundings. This current feedback can detect the ground effect while flying low, allowing the robot to adjust the ground clearance and follow the terrain. Utilizing the motors for both sensing and actuation is helpful for small-sized robots that need to be efficient. The current feedback also allows the robot to detect when the wings collide with objects. This can be used for barrier detection, allowing the robot to alter the flight trajectory and bypass obstacles. To demonstrate the hummingbird robot's ability to navigate in a tight space, the robot is asked to fly through a narrow corridor. The width of this corridor is one foot, less than two wingspans. Hummingbirds can perform a stereotypical multi-axis escape maneuver when given a visual stimulus. This near maximal maneuver takes four and a half times the power required for hovering. To further push the flight performance boundary of man made flapping wing vehicles, we use this extreme maneuver as a benchmark to test the performance of our robot. This was achieved through reinforcement learning, 
by rewarding the robot for escaping to a target zone as fast as dynamically possible. Without specifying any trajectory constraints during training, the robot learned a policy that generated an optimal escape maneuver. Despite the limited wing actuation of the robot, the optimized policy produced a behavior similar to that of the hummingbird. This result is very promising as it shows a flapping wing vehicle can produce animal-like extreme maneuvers even with one and a half times the body mass.